Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101 where we give you fun new rock painting ideas that anybody can create. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get painting. And I have a very special guest with me again today. It's me here. It's me, okay. And we're gonna paint one of her favorite things today and give it a little fun twist. So if you're working with younger kids, you can give them their first arch to kind of work off of. Uh, but we're gonna start by just doing a basic rainbow while folks are kind of joining in, and then we're gonna jazz it up a little bit. So she's got red down, which will help us so we can rotate colors. Uh, but we're just gonna put a basic rainbow design on our rocks. You can use a sticky note too if you want. I use sticky notes a lot, don't I? Yeah, for the hood. Yeah, so if you need an arch to trace, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You just cut a circle. Yeah. And okay. fold it in half. A half circle, yeah, that would work. All right. And then we're just going to I'm gonna just going to pass mine to you. Thank you. All right, and if you need, you can put it kind of slightly on its side to get it a little bit thicker of a line. And we're just gonna work our way and get our rainbows on here. So we can put some decorations on it. Yeah, we've got a fun decorating design, don't we? Uh-huh. We always have and we always do. <laughs> oh, Nancy is here from Tennessee. Can you say hi to Nancy? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> and then you've got green coming next. I'll go ahead and take your yellow. It's funny, the yellow has a thinner tip. I've probably used it a little bit less than some of these other colors. More, you mean? No, just over time, either that or I flipped the tip on this one. Over time, you can wear down the tips of these pens a little bit. But as I just mentioned, you can flip on your 3Ms and 5Ms. You can flip the tip and get a nice fresh uh, tip if you need to. Did you know that? No. <laughs> Well, now you do. All right. You're doing great. Watch your elbow. You want to put it in your paint. Which color is the green? You just used green. <laughs> uh, oh, we got Lori and Shelly in and Candy. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi, Lori, Shelly, and Candy. Yeah. From Kansas City. We used to live in Kansas City. That's where this little guest was actually born. She's jumping right in with her design. So as you're seeing off to the side here, my little girl likes to doodle dangles just like her mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to let her put her dangles on first. Since I was done before you. You were done before me. And I didn't grab a second 1M pen. All right. And we got to make sure you let those dry all the way before you add color, okay? So we're just adding some fun little dangles out of the center. When you get on to that, I'm just going to do one of my hood since one, the outside of it's dry. Okay. And then while you're working on filling, I'll do my outline of my rainbow so you can have it back for that. So I'm just going to do an outline edge of the rainbow itself. I'm not going to go in between each color. You could if you wanted to, but I just want to give it a, an edge just to define it a little bit. Now, Vanessa, when you're doing your outline, and for all those listening, when you're doing long outlines with your 1M pen on a bumpier style rock, these have a little bit of bumps to them, mm -hmm. you want to take it nice and slow, and you actually want to tilt your pen slightly to the side so it doesn't splatter. Like this? Mm -hmm. So you're more like on the side, can you see? Like this, instead of straight up and down, so you don't splatter. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So you want to work on your outline, and I'm going to work on filling in my little dangles here. I'm just going to actually make a, little, a couple more dangles. Sure. 
you've got the room for them. And I'm filling mine in with white and she used pink and red. We use dangle designs when we doodle a lot too, don't we? Uh huh. I ran out of pages in my read doodling book, so I had to make one. Yeah, she made a whole new one. Uh -huh. All right. You're going to finish up by filling those in? And then I'm going to do my other outline. Oh, yes, you're going to outline your rainbow. Uh, Debbie said that she has she's having her grandkids home with her, and they've been painting rocks too. Perfect. Just just stick to our video so you get new ideas. Yeah, <laughs> my little sales lady over here. You can do these smaller too. My tester one I did on one of these small rocks. Yeah. And I did mine too, but I messed it up a little bit. That's okay, but it's still pretty. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And make sure that you whoop, follow the page so you don't miss any of our tutorials. They'll be coming up soon. Can you say bye? Bye. Say thanks for watching. Like this. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh, yeah. Did you put it in the middle? Yeah, put them all in the middle. A little too low. Ah, right here. There we go. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.